Okay, guys, welcome to Thailand Outdoors. Check out my new camper van. In this video, I'll give you a tour of the of the van. Give you all the, uh, the important numbers, the cost, and where to get one just like it if you want. We'll start up here on the roof. We have a full length luggage rack under the luggage rack, which does seem strange, but it works. It's a 450 watt solar panel. Here's the ladder to get up on the roof. And this big red box back here is the external unit for the 12 volt air conditioner. For me, the 12 volt air conditioner is the game changer compared to most other camper vans in this country. This is the fill port for the water tank. It's a 50 liter water tank. It does lock, so no funny business. This is how you plug into the 220 power right in here. Special plug that comes with the van. Big three prong plug. I really don't need this or I haven't used it. I plugged it in once to make sure it works, but I charge my battery off the solar panel and the van itself solar panel does everything that I need but it is a quick way to uh, recharge your battery and the cord does come with the van there's the back end looks kind of strange because it looks like there's a bench seat there but that's actually half of the bed and it's sitting in its uh, seat position right now I'll show you inside in a second. Here's our access. Over here I store my cord. And right now I have a table in there. It's quite long, foot long skinny stuff in here. Uh, this is a drawer. Everything has got these pop thing, pain in the butt. <laughs> Locks. Uh, put a lot of stuff in here. I tell you what Maybe one day I'll go fishing Maybe In these two cabinets here It's where the 3500 watt inverter and the 400 amp battery is located. I Haven't put anything else in these But there is some storage space in here you could actually put stuff longer stuff in beside there if you needed it all the wiring is in here the inverter is right there on the wall you can turn it on in the van as well which is very convenient up in this one this is the biggest storage unit you pack a lot of stuff in here but it is a bit skinny and skinny doors. This here is just uh, access to the air conditioner. Right here bolted to the luggage rack is the awning. Only takes a couple minutes to put this thing up. But really it's a two person job. Not easy to get up that's for sure. Inside got these blackout curtains. They work really really good You can turn it into nighttime anytime bathroom. I'll show you that And coming around Control panel on the on the wall. It's got everything uh, all the switches air conditioner back there 12 volt 
uh, the bench seat becomes the bed, uh, the removable table, microwave under the counter, and a couple of storage cabinets. Let's start with uh, the bathroom. It does have a shower. It will probably never be used by me. Then the toilet. The toilet is a cartridge style toilet. So self-contained. Uh, bathroom small but takes up a lot of the van. But very convenient. Uh, in here is the, the cartridge which is very easy to change. You see that little yellow lever on the bottom and then this swings out. Unscrew that pipe and dump it. That's it. As simple as that. Uh, I just dump it in the toilet. Pours right out. Simple. You've got a couple minutes of unpleasantness but very convenient otherwise and I I would say for me traveling alone at least a week before I'd have to uh, have to dump it a 220 outlet right here on this little bench got a sink in here covers it up so uh, still got the full counter space this is my very noisy 12 volt fan which I've only used during the day not at night it's too loud blackout curtains like I said before they work really really well over here we got all the switches turn on the lights turn on the bathroom light the water pump and uh, 220 power this one is a cigarette lighter style plug and this one has two uh, USB ports very good it gives me my voltage in the in the battery and uh, this one here same thing gives it in percentage this is very bright really need something to cover this up it's like uh, a night light or something at night too bright for me there's the air conditioner with a Japanese remote the air conditioner works really good but if you run it on flat out you will kill the battery in no time but running it just on low It'll run all night, no problem. These two, uh, two little cupboards here hold a lot of stuff. There's, they're very small, but you can pack a lot of stuff in there. Surprising how much can fit in there, and it's very convenient to get at. Now these two down here, under the sink, there's the sink, are bigger, but very inconvenient and you can't access them when the bed is down there's no fridge in this van but you could probably put one right there if you really needed one i would rather have two drawers here than uh, than this cupboard and then this one this is where i store the 12 volt fan it's quite big very inconvenient that's for sure and then the microwave works great amazing that it runs so well off the battery uh, again a bit inconvenient where it's located but it's there if you need it and I don't use it much just to warm up some rice that's about it I'll show you the water the water pump is a bit loud it's actually really loud turn it on there power and it drains right here behind the driver's side tire the sink and the 
shower drain in the same place. So no gray water tank at all. There's the bathroom with the light on. Plenty of pressure. But uh, you'd have to sit down to take a shower. Just not very good. I use it to, to clean, but not much else. Now to turn the van from a daytime van like this into a nighttime van with the bed, there's two things you gotta do. One is remove the table. I'll show you how I do that. And the other one is to lower the, the seat down so it's flat and becomes the bed. The bed. Here's how we take out the table. We just gotta unscrew this. Turn it and it pulls right out. Now for nighttime storage, I put it here behind the passenger seat. All I do is stick the table leg through first. It sits right on the bench. Push it right in. The seat has to be a uh, pushed ahead. It sits right in there nice and tight. Close the curtain, can't even see it, don't know what's there. From the front seat, looks like you got a torpedo. You could probably leave it there when you're driving, although I don't. If I was leaving the, the bed down and I was driving, I'd put, this, put the table in the bathroom. Now to get the, the bed down, we got to uh, pull on this handle. It's not as hard as I'm going to make it look right now. <laughs> and it'll, it'll bang down. Bam. And then you have a big bed. It's four feet wide and about seven feet long. Here's what it looks like from the other side. Uh, not the most comfortable at all it's it's not hard as a rock but uh i didn't like sleeping on it like this so i got me this little mattress it ain't very thick but it's better than sleeping on this stuff you know just to roll that out and the mattress is a lot better at catching dog hair. <laughs> Which is alright by me. This air big cabinet from the outside has two doors. You can access it from the inside as well. Right there with this very cool angled door. Now the hardest part of all of this is getting the bed back up. And right in this corner here, there's a pull cord. Right here. And you take that, how I do it, I wrap my hand around it and give it a quick jump and then push with my knees and it pushes the bed right in place. Push it until it locks. Not that hard, put it back down. Again. A bit long, so uh, I wrap it around my hand. Okay, we're back in the van. Everything is back to the way it was. My bed is now a bench. My table is put back in place. And I store my mattress up here, out of the way. I always keep my my blankets and my pillow on the bench beside me right here. It's not in the van right now. It's not in the way and it's never fallen off. I could also keep it in here. This door is a weird shape because of this back of the bench. But it looks kind of cool, I think. I do a recap on the numbers. The water tank is 50 liters, which is a bit small. But if you manage it properly, you don't take two hour showers 
uh, should be okay. The battery is 400 amps. Uh, I've run my air conditioner on medium power. Uh, the remote itself is in Japanese, so it's a little bit confusing. But I ran it on medium power from about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a, on a rainy day. So I had, it was a monsoon rainstorm. So I had no solar coming in. It was really hot. So I ran the air conditioner a bit harder than normal. And the battery died or the air conditioner cut out at 11.3 volts uh, at about 4 o'clock in the morning. It was already cool now and not a problem. Uh, normally if I run the air conditioner on low in the morning the battery is still at 92, 96% you know it, uh, it works pretty good. It is limited power or no doubt like limited water you have to conserve you have to use a minimum amount you're not at home you're in a little van but uh, use properly use uh, conservatively it's enough it's enough for me anyway uh, solar panel is 450 watts don't take long for it to recharge uh, recharge the battery that's for sure not when it's in full sun the inverter is 3500 watts uh, it runs that microwave like no no issue at all and I only run the microwave for a minute or so at a time just to warm up rice that's all I've used it for that's how I use the microwave at home maybe baked potato or warm up some rice that's it so uh, it's a convenience and uh, uh, use sparingly it doesn't kill the battery it's easy enough to kill a battery if you uh, go overboard with it but if you're conservative careful there's enough power there now we'll get to the cost of the van and where I got it at uh, I found this van or one like it online and I drove seven hours to the guy's uh, house to look at it the van looked just like this one uh, but it was already sold or I would have bought it right then and there uh, the van is made in uh, Nakhon Phatom which is just west of Bangkok uh, the, the company is called uh, Siam Camper Vans I'll put the link uh, to their Facebook page and their phone number in the video description if you want to uh, look into it yourself uh, I've given you all the information I know there's no point asking me a pilot questions but if you have questions I'm sure they'd be more than happy to, uh, to uh, help you out this van itself is 10 years old it's called a Toyota commuter and it's a gasoline engine all the vans they do are like this one uh, 10 or so years old they're all white and they're all gasoline engines and it's a standard and it costs 590,000 as it sits right here as I've shown in this video uh, it cost me 590,000 uh, I ordered it when I went to look at the other one I had to pay a deposit of course which was only 50,000 baht five weeks later my van showed up at my house on the back of a truck these are called slide cars it came very late at night and uh, I had it in five weeks pretty amazing I'm not for a second saying this is the best camper van in Thailand but when I went to see it the first thing I said was it checks all the boxes it is totally self-contained I have a bathroom that I don't need a hookup for I have air conditioning that I don't need a hookup for and I can come and go stop anywhere I can stop sleep in the gas station sleep in the park sleep at a temple so you know anywhere side of the road uh, anywhere that it's safe to park a vehicle you can spend the night in it nobody even looks at it sideways it's just another van stopped on the side of the road and wherever I go I have air conditioning I have power uh, I wanted a few things in the van I wanted it to be air conditioned I wanted a table and I wanted electricity so I can uh, use my computer and charge camera batteries 
Uh, I didn't have a whole list of things that I needed other than that, but this, you know, it checks all the boxes. I got uh, running water, I got a bathroom, I got a removable table, and the 12 volt air conditioner works really good. Is it as good as the house air conditioner? Probably not. Lifespan, I have no idea. But all in all, this is a cheap package deal. Uh, if you go online and search for used vans, you'd be lucky to get one for 600000 That's 10 years old. A new Toyota commuter a few months ago when I priced them uh, was uh, $1.3 million for a new van. 1.3 something more than 1.3 million and this one comes in at under 600,000 with the full conversion and uh, like I said I don't think for a second this is the best conversion in the country uh, I'm not trying to sell you a van I'm just showing you mine I have nothing to gain in this but the people that I bought it from are very nice people uh, very easy to deal with they speak Thai they speak English and uh, I had zero problems with the entire process welcome me to their place to show me what they had uh, built the found the van did the conversion and shipped it to me in five weeks most of the people doing the van conversions in Thailand right now have a year-long waiting list and you have to find the van and take it to them and then wait for a year for them to do the conversion, right? Uh, they're busy. This is a, a relatively new thing in Thailand. Uh, not so much new, but getting very popular. And uh, the guys that do the real nice conversions uh, are very, very busy, that's for sure. And, you know, good for them. Not taking anything away from this one. I think it's the best the best value for money in the camper vans that are available right now and all you got to do to is go online and price a second-hand van and you'll see you know they're they're very expensive they hold their price very very well lots of things I'd like to see different in this one be nice if it was real wood this is you know Ikea special <laughs> but it, it looks okay and uh, and it's, it's well put together everything works and uh, we'll see how it holds up over time I've had this thing now for two two and a half months I've done multiple trips three or four trips in it already uh, uh, videos coming up there real soon of the trips I've done the first one was just close to the house just to make sure everything worked and uh, and I was happy with the van and it didn't break down and it is 10 years old and you never know and uh, I've been out and about we've had a terrible amount of rain this year so I haven't got to use it as much as I wanted but I got a lot coming up that's for sure uh, like I said before if you have any questions about this van that I didn't cover in this video it means I don't know and uh, contact the people that built them the link is in the video description they'll probably get back to you i would think they will all right guys as always thanks for watching i do appreciate it if you want to check out uh where i've been and what i've been up to in the van subscribe and the next video will be along in a few days and uh, we'll see you on that one